Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here for VideoCopilot.net. And today we're going to take a look at the presets and textures especially designed for the Nuke version of optical flares. Okay, so here we are inside of Nuke. Now, I have control of our lens flare position that uh, pretty straightforward. I've got an optical flares node over our background image. Now, I can jump into the options. Now, this is the heart of optical flares. This is our UI designed specifically for all the lens flare requirements. So we've got some cool edge triggering and some other uh, fun stuff. Now, specifically for the Nuke version of optical flares, we've added some special presets, and that's the nuclear presets right over here. We come over here, you can tell we've got some really cool elements, and uh, you know, all of these flares are very photographic, and uh, you know, they're very detailed as well. You see you've got uh, you know, some great anamorphic sprites and elements, so scale that up and kind of see how cool that looks plus some nice like edge effects and stuff. These presets actually use brand new texture sprites that were created specifically for this version. So this includes some brand new lens textures. So we can uh, click on a few different ones here. Let's turn up the brightness. And So we've got some brand new lens textures. So I can just change this, uh, get some nice on-screen effects. That one's pretty cool. And uh, let me just go ahead, let's see here. Let's pick a nice car light. That looks pretty good. So that looks pretty good for our headlights. Brighten those up a bit. Now, let me go ahead and show you some of those textures. So here we have a bunch of brand new lens textures. And, uh, you know, we've got our old favorites as well as several brand new ones that uh, you can choose from. We've also added a lot of anamorphic sprite elements. So we've got these cool streak elements and some uh, nice caustic elements as well. And uh, they have a nice, uh, lot, nice resolution to them. You can uh, use them in your own custom lens flares as well. So uh, very cool. Let me just show you a quick way to add those into your own presets. We can come back into the options. And uh, what we'll do is we'll come over here to the Lens Objects, and we can select one of these core elements. Now, I'm going to add the iris element. So when I add that, I get a single object. But what I'm going to do is scroll down, and we're going to change it from a polygon to a texture. And then we can choose a texture image. So we'll open that up, and uh, we can choose any of these images. So I might just come down here to the uh, bottom and click on this spark image and hit OK. Let's uh, turn up the brightness and turn up the size. So you can see that it's still offset from our center point. So if we change the distance back down to zero, that element will now be on our source. So I can maybe turn the brightness down, maybe tint it a little bit of uh, you know, like a warmer color here. And now we just kind of create a nice little halo around our light. It kind of breaks up the perfect, you know, smoothness of the light. And, uh, you know, just gives it that extra little bit of detail. Then to use the lens textures, as I showed you, you can just click on the global parameters, choose a texture. And uh, you can just turn up the brightness and the illumination radius. And uh, that works just like that. Now, if I want to add some anamorphic elements, what I could do, let's go and shut that off, is I'll come over here, add a multi-iris, and uh, that's this object here. Let's set it to translate horizontally, and that way we get our anamorphic uh, direction, and we'll turn the distance up a little bit. So we get a little bit of translation. And then we'll come down here, and we're going to change the shape to a texture and we'll load a texture image and I'll just choose one of these cool anamorphic looking elements. Okay. So now I'll scale it up. We'll uh, change the rotation of the shape. So we'll just uh, rotate it here, the orientation. And maybe some random size. So we've got our scale random here as well. Maybe we'll make these blue and we can also lower the number of objects, maybe just have a couple of objects there. 
So that's what they look like. Maybe I'll stretch them out a bit. Bring their brightness down. So there we go. We've added just a couple of cool elements. We can even take that object, duplicate the object, and uh, maybe make this copy a little bit larger, a little bit softer, and uh, you know, change the translation a little bit wider. It's a little hard to see there. I'll brighten it up, but so just kind of add one of these soft elements to kind of give it a little bit of a halo. And once you're happy with it, you can go ahead and save the preset as well. So back in the library, the conspiracy presets are also included. And these are some very cool lens flare presets as well. And, uh, you know, we really put a lot of time into just creating some very realistic flares. Now, the Pro Presets 1 and Pro Presets 2 are available separately. And each has 50 unique uh, lens flare presets as well. And remember, you can combine lens flare presets. So you can come over here to, say, the nuclear and you can right click on a different preset and add to current and those elements will be added to that lens flare so just a cool way to uh, be able to work go and hit OK thank you guys for watching my name is Andrew Kramer and we will see you next time